What's up guys, this is Lazy Monkey. welcome back, and today I have a Dian cube. If you guys are new cubers and you aren't familiar with the Dian company, they created the Dian Zanchi, which by today's standards is just an awful cube, but back in the day, this was the greatest cube ever. It was the first cube to have torpedoes, I mean, it was, it was, it was a wonderful cube at the time. Now... Now nobody's going to use a, a Zanchi. Like, come on. I, I mean, unless you're buying a cube on Amazon or something, you're not going to get a Zanchi. Never in a million years. There's so many better cubes for so much cheaper. But Diane has decided to release a new puzzle. This is the Diane Tungyun M. Uh, yeah, magnetic cube from Diane. Uh, the packaging is interesting. Uh, it's not the cleanest packaging I've ever seen. Not the worst either. And it's typically hard to open. Uh, PSA to all cube companies, please make your boxes easier to open. Thank you. Extra springs, I guess? Ooh, this cube is covered in lube. That's disgusting. Yuck. I don't know if you can see that there, but uh, this thing is soaked. That is not good. Like you can even see the smears of lube on the puzzle. Well, let's hope the performance is decent. Ugh. Yikes. It's so slippery. Disgusting. Uh, I, I, sorry guys, I, I have to clean out the lube. I guess now would be a good time to take a look at the piece design. So, there's some interesting magnet in here. It looks like it might be removable, but I don't know. All right. Interesting torpedoes, some ridges here. How does that fit in with the corner? All right. The plastic is very smooth. That's one thing I'm noticing. Maybe that's because of the insane amount of lube, but I think it might also just be smooth plastic. Diane has used a lube that is extremely difficult to clean and it got all over my hands. I had to wash my hands and even still the lube is spreading all over the cube. It's gonna take a long time before this lube uh, finally stops spreading, settles out and then I'll be able to lube it with some real lubes that don't destroy the solving experience. But as for the performance of the cube, it's a very, very smooth cube. Um, very quick. Uh, the corner cutting isn't fantastic. Like, when I'm turning, I can feel some catches. Um, it kind of reminds me of the way this feels, actually. Um, but obviously, this is a much improved design. Uh, but for, for instance, on a cube like this, you really don't feel that that corner cutting limitation as much as on a cube like this. I don't know why. It's something about the, the feel. I don't know. Um, but I can say that the cube is extremely quiet, extremely soft. It's just disappointing to receive a cube that requires setup like it's not it's unusable out of the box and even when set up i can't imagine this cube will be incredibly good um it's certainly not a bad cube and i'd say the performance is on par with a lot of flagship cubes these days um uh, but i do not see myself using this puzzle as a speed cuber, I'd enjoy this more as just, you know, a casual cube. 
if you really like soft cubes, if you really like uh, the buttery feeling, uh, first of all, this will cover your hands in what feels like melted butter, uh, which you may or may not like. I don't. And it will give you that soft buttery feel once you clean it out, once you lube it with your lubes, uh, because the plastic is, is very soft and the cube is very smooth. But yeah, that's about it for my first impressions of the Dian Tungyun M. Uh, maybe I'll try and do solves on it. I don't know if I can handle feeling this lube all over my hands for too much longer. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. This is Laser Monkey. Out. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention this cube is 55 millimeters. Yeah. Diane adding a 55 millimeter flagship to their lineup. Very nice.